Hey guys, how's it going? Today I got a treat for you. We're going to be opening some amazing new audio products I got in today. Yay, the Sound Blaster E5, the Sound Blaster Roar 2, and the Marshall Acton. <clears throat> These um, kind of go together because, well, I'm going to be hooking up this, this to my Mac and my PC. And uh, I wanted a good DAC, so I bought the Sound Blaster E5, a good portable speaker to replace my Bose Sound, Sound Like Mini which is Sound Blaster Roar 2, and the Marshall Acton for home use. And this is for portable use. So, yeah, let's see what's uh, inside these buggers. Alright, let's first the Sound Blaster E5. It's inside this one. Okay. Ooh, that's a pretty nice looking DAC right here. Very, very premium feel. I like that. Line the optical out, optical in, USB host, USB, UAB, USB right here, power button, SPX, low and high gain. I think this has a very good uh, DAC inside of it. So uh, I think this is the top of the line Sirius Logic DAC inside of this, which should be a little bit better than my Wolfson DAC in my FIO E10. So anyways, this is a Sound Blaster E5. What else is in here? Okay. Nice optical cable here. Looks like a stand. Um, a warranty. And the manual, which is actually quite thick for a DAC. Okay, that's cool. Appreciated, and a nice USB to micro USB here. This is a really good quality product. Just holding my hands nice. Two headphone out ports. Pretty nice. It is just like an external uh, USB sound card almost. So th this is a sound card and a headphone amplifier. So I think this is pretty good. Sound Blaster E5. Uh, this one is a hardware accelerated one, I think. Yeah. Pretty nice. I also have a set of headphones here that I just got. I want to use it. These are the Master and Dynamic. I think ME03s. Um, really nice premium packaging for these ones. Let me see if I can find that. Here. Master and Dynamic. I just got these in the mail as well. Came with this really nice premium packaging here. And uh, really nice premium feels to these ones too. Let me see this little thing on the back here. This uh, acoustic. Uh, opening on the back, ME03s, it says. Macro on that. Please, okay. Okay, there you, there you guys can see it now, ME03s. Master and Dynamic make some pretty good products. I highly recommend, recommend them. They're um, ME400s. I think their uh, headphones are really good too. They're uh, over-ear headphones, but these are their in-ear headphones. So I'm going to be using this with... Sound Blaster E5, and then if I if I'm not listening on the go, basically if I want a speaker, then I have the Sound Blaster Roar 2, also made by Creative, that beautiful Singapore audio company of my youth. New, smaller, lighter, and sexier. It says, sexier. Yep, this is the uh, white model. Mind shattering five driver portable Bluetooth speaker with built in subwoofer. I'm amazed. I'm, I have high expectations for this. The thing is, the first Sound Blaster War got some really good reviews. and um, But at that time, I already had a Bose Sound Like Mini, so I was, I was thinking of holding off on that one. But then the Sound Blaster War 2 came out, and I was like, yeah, I kind of want to try this one compare it to my Bose. If it's better than my Bose, I'll just sell the Bose and keep this one instead. Alright. Uh, hold on, this packaging's a little bit difficult, but I think I can get it. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Okay, Sound Blaster Warrior 2. It comes with a manual. Something. Jesus. This is the AC adapter, I believe. Yep, there's the AC adapter here. Um, nice USB quality cable, micro USB, Sound Blaster Word 2, which is a little bit hefty. I think it's like 2 pounds, so it's heavier than my Soundlink Mini, but not as heavy as the Marshall Acton back here. That's it. Yep. Nice quality speaker. Um, just like the other Sound Blaster, it has a lot of different options. So just like the Warrior Number no. 1, it has so many different options here. You can use it as a mic, a voice recorder, MP3 player, and a Warrior button here. I think uh, you can use it as a speaker too. Um, kind of like a room conference speaker, I think. USB audio, mass storage. This thing can do a lot of different things. I'm surprised. Wow. And uh, USB out, you can charge your phone using this micro SD card slot, you can put it in. And uh, built in subwoofer. I'm going to hook this up and show you guys some tunes later. Hook it up to my uh, Sound Blaster E5 here and see uh, what good sound quality it brings. Ooh, nice. Creative. Okay. Alright, so that's the Sound Blaster Roar 2. And now let's have a look at the uh, big guy here, Marshall Acton. This one is more for home use, it's actually not portable. It doesn't have a battery like the Sound Blaster Roar. It's mostly meant for home use here. But I like it because I'm a guitarist and I saw this and I was like, wow. They made a Marshall amp into a Bluetooth speaker, that's awesome. So I had to have it, of course. So, oh, this thing is big. What do you get in the box? Let's see. Oh, okay, this guy's big. Okay, you get this nice coiled cable right here. Reminiscent of a guitar cable. Nice and coiled, very 60s style design right here. I like it. Gold plated too. Very, very heavy, thick um, manual here. They even have Oh, for the power cords here. Power cord, power cord. They even come with a European slot. There's a European plug here. That's very, very uh, good for me because South Korea also uses the same plugs as Europe. So that saves me from having to buy an adapter. That's good. So Marshall, as always, is very, very detailed, but I have it in every language, so awesome. And what else do we have here? Ah. Here it comes, this buddy. Right here. It's a nice bag. It's a nice little sleeve right here. There we go. Just like an old school guitar amplifier, you have the Marshall. This input, Bluetooth input, volume bass, treble, source wake, pair, on and off, very, very, just like a guitar amplifier, I love it, wow, back is also like a guitar amplifier, they would have the tubes right here, if this was a um, guitar head, power saver and standard, wow, I like it, it's very nice, um, I'll definitely show you what this guy sounds, especially compared to the Sound Blaster War 2, but this is not portable. This thing is like six pounds or something. It's not portable, but anyways, you can see the Sound Blaster War in comparison. And uh, both Soundlink Mini is even smaller than that, I think. So, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the sound from each of these. Ooh, I can press these in. Yep, and look at the sound from each of these and uh, compare them, but of course they're not really comparable because the sound, the uh, Marshall is definitely going to be louder 
to be the much bigger one. But I still want to see like uh, sound signatures of these guys. So stay tuned. <laughs>